What's up guys, welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Carson and this is K2 Productions and today we are gonna be talking about my shoulder straps. So uh, I'm gonna take this off because it's not exactly super nice to wear. But uh, that looks really easy, it is not that easy. I'm gonna just be real gentle. So I guess we'll just get right into it. I will start talking to you guys about the uh, shoulder strap, so. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. Is that too close? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Depends on how much you want to see of me. So these are what the new shoulder straps look like. Um, I don't have ones with me right now that I can show you guys what the previous shoulder straps look like, but they were kind of, they looked like, you know, they were modeled like shoulder straps. They looked like this, but the problem was they were just basically rectangles extruded out like this. So they, did not they did not fit into that hole very well like at all literally at all um and they fit into these holes fine but it didn't fill the hole at all it just was like pretty wonky fitting and just not very uh stable really at all so I was struggling with those for a really long time they were kind of bothering me a lot I just was procrastinating because I had no idea what to do and then, yeah, I did drop this and it cracked. So that's, if you're uh, wondering what's going on there, that's that's what's going on. I'm also missing a piece down here. These things are kind of falling apart. They've been around in my garage and stuff for the past while. So Galactic Armory, a couple months ago, came out with these new shoulder straps. He remodeled them. And now, as you can see, give you a closer look, they fit perfectly into the hole that is, you know, created on the back piece. So they're modeled to fit precisely into these holes. And then the fronts of them are modeled to fit into the chest pieces. So now if everything fits a lot better, uh, if it's a lot nicer, so that's really good. So that kind of gave me a little bit of um, momentum to try and do some of this stuff. But one of the problems I did run into is that the this one, I'm pretty sure. So the right one, oh yeah, you can see so it uh the model just is not quite perfect i'm guessing i'm not really sure um but it did not when i printed it it did not fit quite perfect onto this it was just a little bit too wide so basically what i did i just took a heat gun heated it up a little bit till the pla was kind of squishy and then i just shoved it in there so that's how i got it to fit but uh what i used to glue in um was just hot glue um i needed these to just you know like fill up with glue so i uh, decided to use some hot glue uh it's been holding so far we'll see what the longevity of that actually is but for right now it is working um so that was my process to get these guys in here and so you'll see as you saw right at the beginning of the video when i took it off i uh it kind of did a clunk kind of thing and the reason it did that is because i have magnets in here so i have these really huge magnets i'll try and find a link to put them in the description i bought them off of amazon they came in like a pack of like 10 something like that and they're pretty freaking big like strong magnets um i have them in the underside of these as well <clears throat> so what i did was i first first i glued these in um, and I had, I had the chest and the back pieces, oh boy, sitting on a table, uh, together where they're supposed to be so that I could kind of aim and make sure that when I was gluing these into the back piece that I was gluing them in the correct position because they do wiggle around a little bit. And then I stuck my shoulder straps into this side and then made sure that they were going into the chest pieces in the correct orientation because these kind of can wiggle around a little bit. So I wanted to make sure when I was gluing it, they sat in the correct spot. And once I did that, I just dropped a bunch of hot glue into these sockets and uh, shoved them in. And uh, the hot glue is holding up so far. Uh, I have yet to see how that's going to work later on in life, but, uh, 
we shall see for right now. And then the next thing I had to do was to figure out my magnet placement. So the first thing I did was I stuck these newly glued in straps back into the chest pieces. And then the next thing I had to do was figure out how I was gonna stick it in. So you guys saw when, in the beginning of the video when I pulled these off, it did like a clunk kind of thing. I have very large magnets in these. So I bought these off of Amazon. I will try and find a link so that I can try and put one in the description. But uh, I just bought their real, real strong, fancy magnets. Um, they're like 10, I bought them in like a pack of 10 or something like that. They're very, very, very strong. So I had to figure out where I was going to place them. So I stuck the, the back against the, the chest pieces and I saw where the chest overlaps and I drew these lines here. So I knew where the chest overlapped and I'm kind of limited by the chest because the shoulder straps only go so far into the chest here. So I had to kind of decide where I was going to put the magnets in first. And so these magnets are very strong and if they if I would have made it magnet on magnet, they were like I would have broken my stuff. So I actually I did cut these in a little bit, but you cannot see them from the front. There is plastic separating these magnets from the magnets in the straps because if there wasn't, I wouldn't be able to get them apart. I would just crack my chest plates. Once I kind of decided that I was brave enough to cut some holes, I started cutting some holes in the uh, back of my chest pieces. So I literally just took a uh, soldering iron and I started melt cutting a hole for these things to fit in. And then uh, I didn't press it into the, the, the PLA is very thin back here, so I didn't cut it very thick. I only kind of needed to cut it near the near the bottom edge where it's a little deeper. And then I cut my circle. I piled in a lot of hot glue and I actually tried to weld, you know, like PLA weld this one in a little bit. Um, as I said, it was yet to see if it'll hold, but so that is how I got these magnets in. And once these were ma magnets were in, then I could kind of use them as reference for where I should put the straps in. Like I said before, I drew the lines where they were gonna be. And so basically then I kind of put the magnets in just about as low as I could get away with in the, the way the file is, because it's very thin up here. So I put them just a little bit above. So they're just a tiny bit above the line of where it overlaps. And all I did was this same exact thing. Uh, I'll try and take some B-roll so you guys can see this a little better so I don't have to keep going like this. I'll let my editor know. Hey, editor, you want to um, try and remember to put some B-roll in for this, okay? So all I did with the soldering iron was I traced, my, I traced a hole with the Sharpie, and then I used the soldering iron to cut the holes out, and then I literally just plopped them in, and... Uh, Put a bunch of hot glue in again and they have been holding thus far uh one thing that is very important for you guys to remember is make sure that your magnets are in the correct orientation and that this side is facing like that this this side of the magnet is sticking to this side of the magnet otherwise you're gonna have a repel and that will be horrible so so these, now what we have, they, if you look up closely, they don't fit perfectly in, but nobody's ever going to notice that. So now I'm pretty satisfied with this. They, uh, my shoulder, my chest and back fit decently well together. I'm hoping this is going to be an all right system for my straps, but uh, time will tell. <laughs> So that is really all I have for you guys today. I hope that was kind of informative and uh, maybe it helped you guys out a little bit. I know I didn't really exactly show the process, but I hope between, you know, like my close-ups and uh, me kind of explaining what the process kind of was for me that maybe you guys can kind of figure it out. Um, like I said before, Galactic Armory has made it so much easier with the uh, new model because it, it fits so much better, which is a, a huge, you know, game changer. So... So uh, hopefully the straps will be a little bit easier for you guys than what they were for me until more recently. So other than that, uh, new things on the channel. I'm hoping to print new ab pieces next because Galactic Armory came out with an update for those. It's supposed to be easier to wear. And now I don't know how much you guys have checked out the ab pieces, but now instead of them 
uh, just being one circle that you kind of slice wherever you want. Now it's going to be a, you know, like front comes all the way around and then the back piece where there's a little, you know, like protruding piece, if you know what clone armor looks like, that is got magnets in it and it's going to pull off. So I'm kind of looking forward to working on that next. I think that's probably going to be the next project to work on in my clone armor, but definitely stay tuned. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're interested in seeing my clone armor keep going, you're learning about trying to make your own, definitely try and stick around. I have other things on my channel as well if you guys are interested. I'm a pretty big nerd, so I just like uh, Star Wars and Game of Thrones and Harry Potter and all that stuff. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it and that's really about it. Have a great day, guys, and try and get out and make something.